sino kaya yung mamimit ko sa makeup chair ko? Mm-hmm. How will I able to turn her day around? Yep. Ano kaya yung pwede kong masabi sa kanya para mas mukhang mas maging okay yung feeling niya after niyang tumayo sa makeup yeah. chair ko? Diba? Mm-hmm. So, paano ba ako magiging less of an asshole mm-hmm. and more of a friend to whoever mm-hmm. sits on my makeup chair? Mm-hmm. So, mas ganun na. Sino kaya, excited na ako, sino kaya yung may kilala ko ulit sa makeup chair ko, sino kaya yung mga katsikahan ko. Yun. Just, uh, ma- speaking of makeup chair, like, um, siguro mga three years ago, mm-hmm. nag-makeover, nagbigay lang kami ng quick photoshoot and makeover sa Grace to be Born Foundation. Saan? Sa? So, sa? Grace to be Born Foundation. Grace to be Born Foundation. Okay. Grace to be Born Foundation. It's a temporary shelter for pregnant and aban- pregnant women and abandoned mm-hmm. babies. Mm-hmm. So, most of the women there were rape victims. Mm-hmm. Um, so, nung time na yun, kasagsagan ng Yolanda. Yeah. So, these girls, syempre, given their situation, sobrang baba na nung self-esteem nila, di ba? So, we decided mm-hmm. to give them a quick hair and makeup, tapos pinicturean namin sila, tapos pinadevelop namin yung picture, print namin, pinadevelop sobrang tita nung term. Anyway, mm. print, print namin yung picture, pinadala namin sa kanila para may remembrance sila na, I mean, at one point in the uh-huh. age, eh, medyo bumalik ulit yung, na-enhance ulit yung balik uh-huh. nilang mukha, ito yung uh-huh. remembrance, ito yung picture na yun. So, pang-tuan uh-huh. namin sila. Anyway. Sobrang ganda na, na, na Sobrang ganda na project may, na yun, ha? Okay. Plus my birthday, parang mm. me, ano lang, paandar lang. Anyway, so, mm. uh, may isang umupo doon. Mm-hmm. Yung mga girls, um, extremes yung girls doon. Eh. It's either super aggressive nila, te, gusto kong maging kamuha si ganito, te, mm. gusto kong maging, ganun nila ako kausapin. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung iba, sobrang aloof. Tapos tinanong ko yung, ano, yung headmistress, sabi ko, ano pong kwento niya? Mm. Tapos parang, hindi mo na nagsalita yung headmistress, minikapan ko muna yung girl. She was mm. like 13. 13, girl was okay. 13. Tapos iniusan namin yung buhok, yung ganyan. After kong mamake-upan, hinawakan niya yung kamay ko, nag-make-up ako. Tapos na, Ate, salamat. Mm. Nagsalita siya, nagulat. Oo. Uh-huh. Uy, bakit? Kamusta? Wala, salamat. Akala ko hindi na ako gaganda. Tapos umiyak siya. Eh, umiyak din ako, di ba? Uh-huh. Di damay na siya. Uh-huh. Di ba? Umiyak siya. Sabi niya, Ate, akala ko hindi na ako gaganda. Ayan. Okay. Kasi parang ako, huwag gano'n ako, hmm, pero hindi, meron pa ako may makeup on. So, mm-hmm. after ito natapos, chinik ako yung head. So, ano po yung kwento niya? Mm-hmm. That girl, nirape siya ng uncle niya okay. sa um, evacuation center sa kasagsaga ng Yolanda. Diba? Gago so, lang. Eh. No? Sarap diba? patayin Muntis ng mga si gano'n eh. Oh. Muntis to si girl. Mm-hmm. So, umalis sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Tapos, for some reason, na-connect siya dun sa Grace to be born. So, Grace to be born took her in para mm-hmm. uh, maalagaan siya habang pinagbubuntis niya yung bata. Mm-hmm. Diba, kaloka? Oo. Diba? 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 Yung, yung, ka- kawang ko, yung mga ganyan siya. tao, I'll never understand, I'll never understand why people are driven to be like that. A- ako, I'll beat them up for free. Diba? Well, yes, <laughs> kasi, Coach, um, we live in a fallen world, so, it's, it's okay. ano talaga. The I mean, it's... Yes. The evil is there. Yep. Of course. Okay. Of Tapos, course. anyway. So, meron pa. Mm-hmm. So, sumunod sa kanya. Ganda. Mga 16 naman siya. Okay. Mm-hmm. Saya-saya niya. Ang ganda ni girl. Parang, basta mm-hmm. maganda siya. Tapos, bit-bit na niya yung anak niya. Mm-hmm. Ang cute naman ng baby mo. Tapos, chikahan kami. Pagtapos, chinika ko ulit yung headmistress. Sabi ko, ano naman pong kwento niya? Ayan. Pinagsamantalahan niya ng kapatid niya. Tinatawag mm-hmm. pa siyang babe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Para ako, holy shit. Tinawag pang babe, no? Okay. Kuya niya. Yung tatay ng anak niya. Mm-hmm. Medyo ano yun. Oh. Diba? I mean, uh, are you uh, like that? <laughs> yun, yun. Nas, na, ano lang, na ano lang ako na, na, na stray lang tayo sa topic. But Hindi, pero kasi it's, it's a good way of, 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 ano na parang, okay, these are, diba, you realize that you're, when you see something as a job or something that you are, na parang you're supposed to do it, diba? You'll only think of it that way. You'll have a mindset that is that is uh, primarily motivated by a task, 
it's a task driven thing task and pera diba and ayun diba for it's a means to an end kumbaga but then you see the the transcendence from from a job or or pero hindi kasi iba na rin yung naging approach mo noon and now you're doing something that you want to do you feel like you should be doing and then it became a very um it became part of your routine however you suddenly realize that yung yung i mean the craftsmanship and the artistry behind the skill that you develop is actually changing people's lives so i i like the part where in the process of whoever sits in my makeup chair has to be alam mo has to have a very fruitful experience na parang hindi siya dapat the dapat this entire the entire time that this person is sitting on my chair i have to make it a very good experience for him or her mm-hmm. diba because you'll never know you'll never know how many people how many lives you'll touch how many how many outlaw or for example that person sits down in your chair na 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 may ulo or he or she's stressing about something and then aalisha doon feeling refreshed feeling good about him or herself so ano yun eh it's it's a very uh, how do I, how do we put this na parang it's not it's life changing in a way pero you're doing it using the skill set that you have practiced through the years. 